welcome to another episode of Small Sips of Freedom. On today's episode, we'll be switching things up a little bit. So I asked you guys on Twitter to give me questions, topic ideas that you would like to see me covering on this channel. And you guys really came through with some really cool ideas and some really interesting questions. So on today's episode, I'll be jumping into one of those questions coming from at KSV. I would say your entire handle, but I would definitely fail. 700, listen properly. 769,820 <coughs> yeah. well, well. and seven. The question was essentially whether or not it's worth investing in a tax free savings account if you cannot afford to max it out. The figure that you gave was a thousand rand going into a tax free savings account each month as a student, which I feel like if you're doing that as a student, you are literally killing it. My very short answer is definitely yes, of course it's worth investing in a tax free savings account even if you can invest less than a thousand rand. I'll be going into my reasoning on today's video, so let's get into it. follow me on Twitter or on Instagram you definitely know that one of my biggest money rules is the fact that the math should always make sense before you make any financial decisions to help me illustrate why I think investing in a tax free savings account is a good idea regardless of whether or not you can actually max it out we have our hypothetical figure here who here who's investing a thousand rands into a tax free savings account each month earning 10% a year bring her to a grand total contribution of 180,000 rands by the time she reaches her 15 year mark with over 200,000 rands earned in interest. Bring all, the, all those numbers together, she would have a grand total of over 400,000 rands in her tax free savings account. In my opinion, that is amazing. If you've invested 180,000 rands and you're coming out with over 200,000 rands in interest, that is called winning because my guy, you're not gonna be paying tax on that, which is amazing. Because you're investing early, you're giving your money time to actually compound and give you more money babies. Comparing that example to someone, let's say, who is investing in a tax-free savings account, but they wait until they're actually able to max it out and they're contributing 3,000 rands a month into their tax-free savings account for eight years, they would have contributed well over 100,000 rand but the grain total together with interest will be just over 200,000 rands, which is far less compared to what Wichler would have had, even though she was only investing a thousand rands a month into that, into that tax free savings account. So the point I'm trying to drive home here is the fact that it's not the amount of money that you're contributing that makes difference when it comes to investing. It's the amount of time that you give your investments to actually grow. Because remember, for compound interest to actually really kick in, you really need to give your investments time to just sit there and make you money babies. That obviously doesn't take away from the fact that if you're able to invest early and also max it out at the same time, you're getting both benefits of the time as well as having large contributions to back it up as well. But definitely, if you have less than 3,000 rands a month to invest in a tax free savings account, regardless of whether it's a thousand rands or 500 rands, it is totally worth putting that money away into that investment account because you will still benefit from the tax exemptions that, that come with having that account. One thing that you should know as a student is the fact that you're going, probably going to be making more money when you graduate and you go into the working world or you go to, into the entrepreneurship world. And that is where you really need to focus on trying to make the transition as smart as possible. Because there's this little thing called lifestyle inflation where we earn more money and start wanting to live more comfortable or more expensive lives. So if you can actually master keeping your living expenses as low as possible and keeping them relatively the same as they are right now, as you go into the working world and you go into the entrepreneurship world, you'll be able to actually see yourself saving way, way more than a thousand rands into your tax free savings account and actually even opening other different investment accounts. But even with that being said, that still doesn't substitute the importance of you actually starting now if you are able to start 
now. As some things that you should know about tax-free savings accounts before you actually put your money in them, and this relates to contribution limits, the tax laws behind it and stuff like that. If you would like to learn more information about that, I did this video explaining exactly how tax-free savings accounts work. So that is it for this video. I really hope that you found this content valuable and at KSV, please do let me know if this actually answered your question and it helps you to actually gain more clarity and a little more perspective as you make this decision. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, please be sure to leave in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and I will just collect them from wherever you drop them in my universe. And so I see you on my next video. I'm leaving you with wishes of health, wealth and prosperity and I will see you on my next video.